Hi, I'm Matthew Middleton, receivers coach at Kent State University. I'm here at Ray's Place in downtown Kent to eat with our inside linebackers coach, Will Windham. Coach Windham, previously at the University of Georgia, I was at the University of South Dakota. Uh, let's go inside, grab a bite to eat, and catch up. Coach Wendell. What's up, baby? What's up, you good? I'm good, baby. How you doing today? I'm good, man. How's your morning been? Oh, not too bad. How are the receivers looking? Uh, look good. Um, you know, guys are still working to compete to to right. take that top spot. You know, nothing's real set in stone right now. So yeah. we're getting there. How about those backers? How they looking? They're good. You know, it's just kind of a it's a different situation with my group because I've got the two seniors and they've kind of pushed themselves away from the pack. You know, so now it's about trying to close that gap with the twos and the next group up. How's the family? They're good, man. Good wife, baby. Baby's getting big, man. It's good. awesome. He's first football season with a baby. You know, the sleepless nights have, are starting to kind of dwindle a little Stack bit. Up. How's your fam? Everybody's good. House is good. We're acclimated. Everything is good. So we got no complaints. Love having them coming to practice and seeing and screaming daddy. Notice that that's been the best thing about being a dad so far is every time I go home from practice, Tyler doesn't care if we had a good day or a bad day at the linebackers. He's Does just happy to see me. Does not matter. That's <laughs> it, man. Daddy, when you coming home. Well, when I first started college, I wanted to work in the front office for a Major League Baseball team. That was my goal. I love Major League Baseball. So I got to Spanish 3 because I knew that I would need to learn Spanish That's because of the influence in Major League Baseball. I got to Spanish 3 and was like, I don't think I want to do this anymore. So I worked a summer camp with kids and I was like, I want to work with kids, whether it's high school, middle school, I just want to work and I want to impact the next, the future, you know. Played at Ottawa University, uh, they're in Kansas, um, so break for life. Um, played there, played receiver four years, started as a receiver, uh, did some kick return and punt return and stuff. And then um, as soon as I graduated, I told my head coach, Coach Kessinger, um, if my position coach, Coach Mess, if he leaves for any reason, I want to coach the receivers. And uh, by the grace of God, he left and took another job, and that opened the door for me to get right in. That's awesome. Coaching guys that I played with. How was, you that, know, how was that? Was well, that different? It was, it was very different. Yeah. Uh, as a senior, you're living with some of your best friends. No you doubt. Know, apartment. Um, and then, you know, you have to understand that you have to separate yourself because now, sure. you know, you are a coach. They were great with it. They understood it. Applied for a graduate assistant job um, at Nebraska Omaha. Uh, so I was there for two and a half years. Um, that's where I met Coach Barton and Coach Lewis. All three of us were around each other all the time. All you guys kind of have that interconnection, even with like Coach Kaufman, he worked with him at Syracuse and Eastern. they kind of went way back. Yeah. Well, like, I don't, I didn't know anybody you know what I mean? So like after my first year at Georgia, I actually interviewed for Coach Kaufman at UT Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. So that's how I knew him. And he called me and was like, hey, you know, it's not the right fit, but I really, really like you. If something, if I ever have anything in the future, I'll let you know. Lo and behold, the next season, we're getting ready for the national championship game. I shoot him a text like, hey, I totally forgot to tell you congratulations. Right. And like literally five seconds later, phone rings. Boom. And he goes, hey, we may have a job. Would you be interested? And I'm like, yes you know, really fast, as fast as I could get it out. Obviously, we're getting ready to play the national championship game, so I'm <laughs> like doing like this, trying to balance both things. Like this right. is a life-changing chance for me to go be a right. position coach, coach linebackers, you know, but we also have the weight of playing for the national championship. It was a lot of balancing and, you know, I did a, uh, a FaceTime interview with uh, Coach Lou, and he said it was like the Blair Witch Project because he was asking me questions, and I was holding my phone and drawing on the board, and it was like he was like, "You're making me dizzy. Just put the phone down and draw on the board, and then we can talk about it." So and there were there were yeah, it was weird, you know. And so there were times where he would just be like, the phone's just looking up at the ceiling, and I'm drawing. I was like, "I'm drawing. I'm drawing. This is what I'm drawing." And I tell them, how you do anything is how you'll do everything. Right. Hey, you're going to come here and be a better football player when you leave. You're going to come here and you're going to have a great degree. Right. Yeah, you're going to be a better football player, right. but you're also going to learn a lot of life lessons. Yeah. You're going to see how to be a husband, how to be a father, Most how to manage your time yeah. and all those things that you get with college and playing football, yeah. you know. And they, they have to understand it's we care about them as people. No we obviously care about ball. And then we want them to understand, you know, life, you know, and obviously we don't have all of the answers, 
But as young as we all look, we, you know, we do have some right. of the answers That's or right. advice to kind of sure. guide them in the right ways in this phase when they are truly adults on their own. And they're own. Be really becoming the man they're going to be for the rest of their life. You get, you get both sides of it because you were a student, you know, that went through it, and then you were basically a, a student athlete because you're a coach doing it too as a right. graduate no. assistant no, no, with no, no, two no, degrees, no. right? Yeah, I've got an undergrad from Mississippi State. I got a grad degree from Mississippi State and a grad degree from Penn State. So that's what happens. When Do you're I need a, to sit at a different no, table? No, no, no. Huh? That's just what happens when you're a GA for like seven years. <laughs> Once you do it for seven years, they do, eventually like, they feel sorry for you. Oh, like, here's a degree. <laughs> Why do you push every single day to be the best version of Will Wyndham? I think for me, it's it's like I grew up in a single parent home, and so for me, like there's a big drive in me to be. And this is gonna sound weird to be the man, and not like the man, but like be a man. Right. You know, yeah. be a man for my family, be a man for you know, and when it relates to coaching, be a man for my players. My why is I just want to make a difference. You know, faith is really important to me, and I want to show that to my players. And family is very important to me, and I want to show that to my players. You know, for me, it's just making sure that I'm doing what I can to love everybody around me and show them like that someone's in their corner. If everybody else turns their back on them, you got me. I'm, I'll be in your corner and I'll fight for you. You know what I mean? What about you? You know, my mom and dad, they both worked a lot of hours. You know, there was. I have three brothers and two sisters, you know, I'm the second youngest in the family, so, and, you know, seeing my mom and dad in my early childhood um, working a lot, you know, my dad would work some of those 17 hour days, my mom would work, you know, nine, 10 hour days, then come home and have to take care of us, so I just always told myself, you know, I'm going to work hard to, to set my family up, you know, my family up and kind of change our culture within our family. Once that opportunity to get my master's uh, happened, I think that opened my eyes to, I was the first person in my family with a master's degree. So I had, you know, my cousin and my brother, uh, they got a bachelor's degree, but I was the first one with a master's degree. Both my brothers have their masters. My sister, she's like a CNA registered nurse. You know, my mom, she went back to school. She has her degree. She's getting ready to open up her own business in the medical field. You know, so like for me, it was, you know, how can I change the culture in my family? And then for my children, it's how can I be the best man and role model for them? Show them hard work. It's to show them, you know, keep your head up, chest out you know, count your blessings, you know, and remain a good person. You know, their mom, Jenna does a great job with them because she's a 4.0, you know, student in high school and in college. So the brains come from her, you know, and she, she teaches in the profession. And then, you know, for me, I can just be there for support. All right, man, you ready to get out of here? Let's go and get out, man. Get uh, back to work. Appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for having some time with me. Absolutely.